Hi everyone, I'm Will Brown and welcome back to the WP Quickie series, bite-sized WordPress tips and tricks in 30 minutes or less. Today I'm going to be talking about QR codes and how to drive traffic to your website using those QR codes. So thank you so much for taking your time to join me this lovely sunny Sydney afternoon. Welcome to those who are overseas and those who are watching on replay as well. Please let me know where you're uh, watching from. Just drop a uh, line in the comments. Just let me know who you are, where you're coming from. And uh, we've got some people coming in already. So Mr. Miyagos, Daniel, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. Um, before we start, just remember to subscribe to the channel if you're on YouTube and ding that bell for notifications and that'll let you know when I'm broadcasting live. And if you're on Facebook, you can give me a, a big thumbs up as well. So we've got comments coming in through from uh, YouTube and from Facebook as well. And I'll try and reply to them um, during the presentation as much as we can. So hi, Alan um, in Sydney. Um, we've got Tipper. Hi, Tipper. Thanks for choosing your time with me today. Uh, Joey J from Singapore. He's our usual flooding in. Thank you so much. And Morris as well from sunny Sydney. It is lovely and sunny today and welcome Paul again from the northern beaches oh so tempting to jump in the water today so thank you so much for joining me today and uh, I'm going to keep this one really quick I'm going to go back to the whole emphasis of the WP quickies because some of them got quite long last year um, and I'm going to keep them short and as sweet as I can so let's jump into it right now okay QR codes. I love that little graphic there to see all those little men. Those little men uh, creating all the QR codes. I, I believe that is 100% accurate. That, and I do believe there's a whole um, suite of tiny little people creating QR codes. I think that's just so cute. Hi, Julia. Great to have you with us. Okay, so QR codes. So because of COVID-19, of course, it's been a global pandemic. Everyone's been affected by that. Uh, QR codes have had a bit of a resurgence over the last um, few months. So certainly here in Australia, um, with Australian uh, government standardising business entry check-ins using the QR codes, um, you can pretty much guarantee that every adult here knows how to scan and to use a QR code. So now, right now, is the best time to use QR codes to try and drive traffic to your WordPress website because everyone's got them on their phone, everyone knows how to use them. Um, you know, people are used to using them every day now, so it's a great, great time to use them. Okay, so how do you generate QR codes? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, there are a bucket load um, of QR generators online. I'm just gonna drop some in the comments down below. There's two of my favorite ones there. Winging their way to you via the comments, um, now, um, you can sign up for lots of different types of QR codes, uh, generators. As I said, there's heaps and heaps out there. Um, but those two are my favorite because they allow you to uh, change things a little bit slightly and, and make them a little bit different from, um, from normal QR codes that you see everywhere that you go. Um, now, these two ones here, uh, one is called uh, the QR code generator and the other one is called QR code monkey. I actually like QR code monkey. And the best because you know I quite like monkeys. I think it's fun, you know, and it's um it's nice to be able to brand your QR codes. Um, now a couple of these um they do um hi hi Claire hi Claire and Five Doc nice to have you with me. Um both of these systems both these ones because they're free they kind of run on ads. So when you're trying to generate your QR code, it's going to show you an advert. Um, it's not a biggie. You can just you know leave it there, ignore it, um, what do you want to do? You can still download stuff for free. You still download your QR codes for free and that's really all that matters. Or you can sign up. You can sign up with an email address and that just gets rid of the ads. And yeah, they might send you the odd marketing email every so often, but they're they're not noisy um, uh, generators here. They're not noisy people. They don't spam your email account, which is great. Now, if you uh, do sign up, and you get access to the full downloads, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but for the free uh, download, you can download um, the QR codes in PNG, JPEG, SDG, EPS, and I believe PDF, especially for uh, QR code monkey that allow you to download uh, PDFs if you want to embed that into your marketing material. Now, both websites, they allow you to generate a whole range of different looking QR codes and um, with colors and logos to match your brand. So I've got a couple up here uh, just now. 
um, and they fully work so you can scan them on on uh, the page there and they'll take you to um, some website addresses um, so the first one I've got a little uh, logo and I've branded the color as well so it all kind of looks nice um, uh, together and same with my zero point development one the one that you can see on the right hand side so it's got my my logo mark in the middle and I've changed the QR code color uh, just so it matches the the brand as well so there's really no reason <clears throat> no reason for you to stick with the, the black and white the boring ones and um, you can kind of hit up a little bit and you know make them look as if they they really kind of do fit in with your your brand and your website now using online sites are fine if you're just going to be driving um traffic to a few pages on your site but you certainly don't really want to be typing in urls all the time um, so that sucks and it's also prone to human typo errors as well and i know that because i made several mistakes when i was creating these qr codes throughout this presentation so let's jump into another way you can generate um some qr codes okay so the best way through wordpress is via plugins and there's a couple of plugins that stood out for me the first one is the kaya um qr code generator I'll just copy the link in down here below. And don't worry about all the links. If you're watching on replay, I'll copy them all into the comments below, uh, the YouTube and the Facebook uh, video as well, so you can get access to those afterwards. So this one, the Kia QR code generator, it's great, it's free um, as well. And what it does, once you install it, um, there's not very many options at all. Um, there's not many settings, sorry. Um, basically, once it's installed, once it's running, you visit any of the pages or posts or post types on your website. And underneath the editor, you're going to see a unique QR code. Yes, it is the black and white boring one, but you know, it's a free plugin. You know, you can't say no to that. And um, so you'll see the QR code that generates uh, for that unique URL for that post or page throughout your website. Um, so that's great. Uh, so now you have a QR code that points to anywhere on your website and you can download the QR code as an image so you can then embed that in your marketing and all that sort of stuff there. Um, so this one is totally free, it's not got any adverts which is good as well, there's no upgrade path, it's just a free plugin, it does QR codes and that's all it does. Um, so this one here is the basic um, kind of black squares uh, type QR code that you see everywhere, um, especially in, in the Australian businesses. And you can however change its color um, to match your branding. Um, so that's pretty much all this one does, um, but it is a great help. So you don't have to type in all those URLs manually um, yourself. You get uh, this plugin to generate them all for free, which means you just go into whatever page um, you want to market uh, and then just copy that QR code and then you can paste that into your marketing material. The next one that stood out for me is a paid one. Now, this one is from Code Canyon. Um, I did a little bit of research into QR codes when I was uh, writing this uh, this quickie. And this one really kind of stood out from a branding point of view. Now, because QR codes are going to be embedded in your marketing to drive sales to your web WordPress website and not on your WordPress website, you really want to be able to have like a, a good range of how you can choose those QR codes to, to display and how they can, um, you know, sit in with your brand. And this one does that perfectly now it is a paid plugin um, but it's only 15 us dollars so that's about 30 australian um, dollars and um, from code canyon and um, so it also generates qr codes for all your posts every post type in your wordpress website so even if you've got custom post types um, or products it's going to display a qr code unique um, to that particular url um, but this provides this plugin provides more QR code design types. So allowing you to embed icons and pictures in the middle, there's an example there on, on the cover, um, as well as some different eye-catching designs. So some of the designs are like, like a little email um, icon with a QR inside, maybe like a printer icon with a QR code inside, it'll be like a PDF download thing with a QR inside. So different types of designs. And it also gets away from the, the squares and the, the rectangles and it. it brings different geometric shapes in as well. So you can really make your QR code stand out um, as being like a different design as well as fit in with your branding as well with colors and logos and stuff. So this plugin here, it's well worth the small cost um, to get a QR code design that will stand out from, from the basic one. Okay, so where do you use the QR codes? So if you're trying to drive traffic to your website, then there's no point really displaying QR codes on your website. Um, the exception may be on, maybe on your contact page 
allowing people to contact you via uh, email or a voice call quickly on their phone if they're scanning the QR code. Um, but really, um, you know, uh, you don't want to be displaying QR codes everywhere on your website. For the majority of people, they're going to be already on your website and browsing. Um, so that reminds me actually of a story. <laughs> it reminds me of a time that I worked in a hotel bar in Edinburgh. Now, the owner of this bar, um, he just subscribed to Sky Sports in order to try and drive more people to come into the bar, which is a, a great idea. It was a super idea. However, um, he printed out and laminated these signs um, and posters that said, you know, Sky Sports now available in blah, 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 blah. And uh, printed out, laminated them, and guess where he put them? Yep, only in the bar. So what a waste. You know, he was marketing to the regulars and the people who are already coming into the bar. So that, that's the same thing about QR codes. You don't want to plaster your website with QR codes because people are already browsing the website, except for maybe those couple of exceptions in your, your contact page where it really could be quite useful for like a, a quick um, um, a quick response. <laughs> there you go, QR. Um, so pretty much um, where do you use QR codes? Pretty much um, anywhere other than your website. Um, so it needs to be something that is physical, something that people can scan scan with their phones, you know, scanning that with their phones. Um, so don't add them onto emails or social posts um, unless, you know, you're planning to have like a, a monitor displaying all your um, social media posts and stuff um, externally. Um, you could do that. But generally, you want to be displaying that on something physical, um, maybe like posters and flyers work really well. Uh, business cards are an excellent choice. Um, business cards are pretty cheap nowadays. So, you know, you, you, could, um, you could purchase some and run off a batch for a specific event um, or a conference and link that to a landing page uh, just specific for that event. That'd be a nice personal touch um, to do. Jonathan has a quick question. QR codes with logos are probably more important now. Um, for the venue so people don't confuse it. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great point, Jonathan. I hadn't you thought about that. Um, so yeah, people are so used to seeing this QR code and thinking it's to check in. Um, yeah, having your personal brand there does link it with yourself. So that's a super point, Jonathan. So what posts do you link to in your QR code? Um, so the obvious page to link to would be your website homepage, but is this really the best URL to use though. From a brand awareness point of view, um, maybe, uh, but the value of QR codes is really in their specificity. Did I say that right? Specificity. <laughs> and you can literally send somebody anywhere on your website. So here are some ideas on where to send people um, other than your homepage. Okay, so things like your shop front, so if you're running WooCommerce or some other e-commerce store, uh, you can uh, give them a chance to buy something by sending them directly to uh, your store, your shop, um, or a product. Um, so maybe you're directly targeting some specific product um, to allow the customer to purchase. Um, that would be a really good um, thing to use a QR code for. Um, a single blog post. So you might be trying to boost engagement um, from a post that you've uh, you've authored, or maybe it's an, an old post that you're reviving. Um, so you could stream some QR codes uh, for that one, or even a blog category. And this one's really good if you're maybe holding an event, or a meetup, or a talk, or you're at a conference, um, and you you'd be talking about a particular category, a particular topic. Um, so, for example, just say I was up talking about security. I could then hand out little flyers with a QR code that would take people to the security category of my blog post to get them all that information, but it's related to the topic that I've been talking about. Um, so that'd be a real good um, good use of that. Um, a landing page, of course, QR, QR codes are probably um, most linked to landing pages. They're thinking about marketing. Um, so get your visitors to perform a specific call to action, um, maybe like sign up for this free um, ebook e download, things like that. Um, it could be a great uh, connect with you page. Um, so I love this idea. Um, it's a great way of connecting to people when you're networking at a conference. Um, I was at a conference last year. Obviously, conferences have been all pretty much virtual uh, this year, but certainly last year was an SEO conference. And someone handed me a business card. And it had a QR code at the back. Um, so when I got home, you know, I scanned that, had a look at it and it was just a single landing page at the conference name a few photos but it had a video 
of of uh, of the woman actually, and she was um, just saying, you know, hi, thanks, you know, if you got this uh, this uh, QR code, if you come here, then you know, um, I met you at the conference. It's really nice to have met you, and looked forward to opportunities to catch up with you. And um, please connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter and all that sort of stuff. And I thought it was great. It was so personal, you know, because she recorded that before the event. So certainly, you know, doing something like that is, is really going to make you stand out because there's not a lot of people doing doing that kind of personalized marketing um, in part, certainly with QR codes. Um, what else? A contact page. Um, so you're going to, um, you know, uh, engagement and connections uh, for that. Um, a file to download as well. You know, you could uh, issue a QR code if you want people to download a, a particular file. Of course, after sign up, email sign up. Um, and even things like uh, Google Map links, um, so directions to your premises, uh, for example, can be really handy um, on a contact page, even on your website as well. You know, people can scan and then just drive to your, your premises uh, really quickly. <clears throat> okay, Julia is saying, asking, what do you think about QR codes in newsletters? And would you recommend this? Um, that's a good question, Julia. Uh, probably not if the newsletters are going out via email because it's so difficult to scan a code via email, especially most, most people are reading the emails on, on their phone nowadays. So trying to scan stuff while you're already reading on the phone, it can be pretty difficult. So um, unless it's really specific um, that you want people to do or take an action to, I probably wouldn't drop it in, in an email newsletter. Links would be fine for that. Um, QR codes are really handy when somebody needs, needs to get some information quickly without having to type in URL. So things like emails and um, newsletters, people can click on the links and it goes directly to wherever you want to go. But you know, if you've got like a bit of paper in front of you, um, you know, or a flyer or a poster, you know, you don't want to sit and you know, type in the URL to the phone. You just want to quickly go zap and take you straight to it. So those sort of instances are, are good for QR codes. Tipper asks a uh, suggestion, a page with a discount code for a Woo shop. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so QR codes, it's all about marketing. It's just another way to, to embrace marketing, to allow people to, to be directed to another call to action. Uh, Jonathan asks, what about a slide at physical meeting? Would it be clear enough for someone many rows back from the screen? Probably not. Um, QR codes are, are really only useful if you're close up. So you need to be really close up to a QR code uh, for the, the scanner to be able to, to view it because you need to get the entire QR code into the frame of the scanner. If you've got anything on the sides, um, then it has difficulty trying to distinguish the QR code from the background. Um, so yeah, if you've got people in the way and stuff, that's probably not going to work um, in a presentation. However, if you're at an event, if you run an event, you've got like screens, like secondary screens that are displaying like a carousel, um, so a screen that somebody can go right up to, then that probably would, would be acceptable for a QR code um, for that one. Uh, Joey J says, QR code in a business card is a great idea. It's smashing. I haven't used business cards in many years, but uh, I'm liking this, this whole idea. Once we get back to physical meetups, I'm going to print out a batch of uh, business cards for several events that I'm going to go to during that year. So, yeah, it's a great idea. Thanks for that, Joey. Okay, moving on. Where are we? We're 20 minutes in, so we're getting there. Okay, almost done. Um, so what posts to link to? Now, I was talking about all these different posts that you can you can link to, so your, your contact page, your shop, uh, single products. Um, but did you know that uh, you can also link to telephone numbers and email addresses? So anything, um, so if you're, for example, on the website, if you're linking uh, your mobile, um, version of your website to a uh, call on the phone you're using that tell colon and then your phone number um so that will totally work in a qr code and similar to uh to mail so so um ahref links to like mail to colon and then your your um address um that will totally work on a qr code as well so um, i challenge you now both these work um so you can scan scan one of these so scan the phone one and that'll come up with my uh, Skype phone number. Don't, don't call me because I'm on vibrate just now. Um, or this one on the right hand side, if you scan that on the screen just now, it'll actually um, create an email address for you and it'll also pre populate the subject as well. Um, so it's these are really, really, really handy, especially if you want to get people to get in contact with you super, super quickly. Um, I love that. I love that idea. Okay, almost there. 
Um, so don't just use plain URL codes um, either. Um, add some Google campaign tracking parameters as well. Now, a lot of you might not know how to do that. Um, so there's an example on the screen there just now. Um, so that's my shop link. So you can here see uh, zeropointdevelopment.com slash shop, but then I've got all this stuff afterwards and that's Google campaign tracking. Um, so the UTM source, um, is the, the post, the URL that I'm coming from. So I'm setting that to using QR code drive traffic. So I can see that in Google Analytics. Uh, the UTM medium, um, so that's the type of, uh, uh, of um, marketing medium that you're using to get people driving to your website. In this instance, I'm setting that to QR because it's a QR code, um, but that could be email or affiliate or something like that. But then this is in QR code. Um, and the campaign is like the top level campaign. Um, um, so I, I know exactly where these coming from and I've set that to WP Quickies. So using that sort of format as, as a URL to then embed in the QR code and that QR code there, sorry, the link there is embedded in that QR code you can see on the screen, um, allows me to go into my Google Analytics um, and then I can go into Google Analytics, acquisition, all traffic, source, medium, and I can tell exactly where that's coming from. I can tell it's coming from that particular um, article um, and it's coming from the medium of QR codes and it, it's generally in the campaign of the WP uh, Quickies series there. So if you are not very sure about Google um, Analytics and, and Google campaign tracking, I've just posted something in the comments there, um, a couple of links there, and just showing you how to set those up um, to so you can actually measure these clicks that are coming through from your QR codes. Okay, a couple of questions here. Uh, generators are different from plugins. Oh, so Julia, Julia missed the beginning. Okay, so um, the generators I talked about were online generators and um, they are good for just typing in a couple of quick URLs, um, but you don't want to be using these free online generators all the time, Julia, because you, know, you have to type in all the URLs um, um, all the time and that could be, uh, you could have manual problems, uh, manual entries for that human error. Um, and it just basically sucks typing in all those URLs. So you would use the plugin, and the plugin generates a QR code for each post type, each page and post type on your website. So wherever you are, you can go into your shop, a product, and your little QR code is there. You can just download that and then embed that into your, your marketing. So that's the difference between the online generators and the WordPress plugin ones as well. Thanks, Julia. David asks, is there a physical size limit for a graphic inside the QR code? Um, I believe there is a percentage covering. I don't know exactly, I haven't researched into it, um, but in looking at all the different types of QR generators for this uh, this little talk today, there does seem to be some sort of constraint in the middle. It doesn't seem to go out too far. Um, I guess the QR codes need a, a particular amount of space for order for them to, um, to work and to send their data to the, the scanning app. So yes, I think there is, but I don't know exactly what it is, David. Uh, good question there. Um, yep, so I mean, that that's all I had today. And uh, that's my wrap up for using QR codes to drive traffic to your WordPress website. Hopefully it's inspired you to have a little think about the QR codes um, in, in kind of a different way that now that we're all seeing them, you know, all over Australia to check in, um, maybe we can start thinking how to use them to, um, to get people, um, drive them to our website in a, in a unique, unique way um, for that. Okay, I think I've done all the questions, um, which is great. Uh, Tipper says, the logo size depends on level of redundancy using the QR code. Yep, so there is a little bit of repeating. When you have a look at the QR code, you can see it repeats every so often. Um, so yeah, it'll be, there'll be some sort of specification somewhere, but I don't know what it is, Tipper or David. Daniel asks, not related to QR codes, but when I tried to use your Slack link, it said no longer valid, <laughs> no longer valid, oh dear. Maybe that's because I, I was using the, the free version. <laughs> I'll have a look at that later. Uh, Daniel, thanks for pointing that out. Or maybe I just switched off because I didn't want people calling during the during the talk. <laughs> uh, QR code is a permanent thing. Um, yes, it is. Um, a QR code should be a permanent thing. It, it encodes the URL into the picture. So it's got nothing really to do with the, the generator. Um, so it'll still work forever and ever and ever until you change that, that URL. Um, Jonathan says some museums use them for extra info and labels. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So it brings up a website that gives you extra information. Um, yeah, that'd be a great use. 
Um, I mean, in, there's so many different uses for, for QR codes, and they're so good because, you know, people out and about, they see one, they can scan, and then go directly to um, whatever it is um, it's displaying. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for those questions. Those were fantastic. Um, I'm going to try and keep it short and finish on time. Um, so next week, I'm going to be talking about tracking plugging vulnerabilities. Um, so, yes, we all know that um, WordPress um, plugins need updated all the time. Um, so I'll go through some places that you can go and actually find out uh, which plugins are uh, are um, unsecure and you know how you can track that and just keep an eye on it um, to know exactly um, how often to look at it and which ones to um, to update. Uh, there's QR code again. Um, so I please send me some uh, suggestions as to other topics I can do throughout the year. Um, there's a form, um, there's a link there, QR code, but right below the, the video here in the, the description, there will be a link there to a Google form that you can, guys can fill out. That'd be fantastic if you can do that and uh, give me some more ideas as to what to do. Um, also, if you want to get in contact with us, and us by, I mean, uh, WordPress um, Australia, um, you can go to the wpaustralia.org website and have a look at all the different meetups um, that we have. We do have lots um, that are coming online um, and I think a couple of them are going back to fiscal meetups um, as well. Um, so on that web page, you'll be able to see all the different WordPress meetups that we have throughout Australia. And also there's instructions to join our wpaustraliaslack.com, which is where we all kind of hang out and chat and don't do any work uh, during the day. So yeah, please check out the wpaustralia.org. Um, have a look at the events that are happening. Um, join us on Slack as well. You can able you can ask us loads of questions, lots of channels on Slack, and we're kind of there all day. And uh, happy for you guys to connect with me as well. Uh, drop me a line on LinkedIn, um, on Instagram as well, and on Twitter. And um, so thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next week.